Breaking news. High Court dismiss Namdi Kano's 1 billion suit against the federal government for rights violation. Guys, let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Justice James Omotosho of the Federal High Court in Abuja on Monday dismissed the fundamental human rights suit filed by the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kano, against the federal government. And Kano had sued the Attorney General of the Federation and the Department of State Service for $1 billion in damages for alleged rights violation. The IPOB leader, Namdi Kano, in the suit marked FHC slash CS slash 1633 slash 2023 claimed that the DSS and its director general violated his right to a fair hearing by allegedly preventing his lawyers from having unhindered interactions with him while he was being detained in preparation for his defense in his criminal trial. Justice Omo to show while delivering a judgment on the suit held that Kano failed to prove credible evidence to sustain his claims that his interactions with his lawyers were interfered with, that he was detained, he was denied unhindered access to his lawyers, and that DSS officials is dropped on his conversations with his lawyers, which constituted a breach of his right to fair hearing. And we all know that Kano sued the AG of Federation, the DSS, seeking $1 billion in damages for his right violation. But you see, the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja ruled against Namdi Kano's lawsuit seeking $1 billion in damages for his human rights violation. So my country people, this is to show that uh, Nigeria is a failed state. The court continues to frustrate Namdi Kano's, uh, Namdi Kano's attempt at justice. They continue to fail, to, to, to fail the people. In fact, there is no justice in Nigeria. There is no justice in Nigeria. If one should approach the court seeking justice, I don't know what one should expect because the Nigerian judiciary has disappointed Nigerians greatly. Now look at Mazi Namdi Kano's case. Namdi Kano that has been going from one trial to another. They keep on extending his trial Prolonging this case when Namdi Kano has no case to answer. All these things are just trumped up charges against him. Trumped up charges because he is calling for the Biafra land. Because he's calling for the actualization of the Biafra land. Let's not forget that Namdi Kano has been subjected to the most inhuman violations you can never think of in the DSS custody. Namdi Kano has been met with torture, has been tortured, has been, you know, all sort of treatments has been melted on Namdi Kano, all because of what? His Biafra agitation. And Namdi Kano, who was abducted by the Nigerian Security Service, was detained and was tortured for seven days in Kenya before they brought him back to Nigeria in a private plane, without due process. And for long, Namdi Kano has been facing one battle to another. And he approached, the, in fact, the, the, we are still at the court. We are still in the court. So the court doesn't regard the fundamental human rights of Namdi Kano because they claim he doesn't have substantial evidence. They ruled out his case because they claim Namdi Kano doesn't have substantial evidence to back up this claim. You can imagine, this is coming from the court. Oh. This is coming from the judiciary oh, that's supposed to be the last hope of the common man, right? Well, God is watching. God is watching. At this point, God is watching. Now, these are reactions from Nigerians. We shall appeal to Supreme Court in our dear dot nation. Imagine it is only in Nigeria that we see this kind of things. This is a welcome development. They will release Namdi Kano, but not now. Okay. The more Namdi Kano stays in detention, the more Niger the more problem there would be in Nigeria. 
Some judges have brains but they don't have sense. Some have eyes but they can't see. Some have ears but they can't hear. That is why Nigeria is upside down. 100% judges are killing the country. One billion naira compensation for what? Did, FG, did federal government wipe your community? Besides, why in naira currency? Why not in Biafra or British pounds? Okay, no court, no justice in Nigeria. Release Namdi Kano, he has not done anything. I support what Nigeria is doing. Okay, the next person said, don't worry. Sit at home will force federal government to release Namdi Kano. What would you expect? Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. All I know is that Namdi Kano should be freed. Namdi Kano should be released unconditionally. Regardless of these trumped up charges against him, he should be freed. That is why people are clamoring for his freedom. He should be freed. Because all these trials are unnecessary. Namdi Kano has no case to answer. Namdi Kano has no case to answer. So all these things are just mere prolongation of his stay at the DSS custody to further prolong these matters. And for long, Namdi Kano have been decrying how the DSS officials have been monitoring his conversations with his lawyers, how they've been monitoring his conversations with his lawyers, which ought to be a private matter. They tend to interrupt with his communications to his, with his lawyers. And this, according to Namdi Kano, is a violation of his right to a fair trial and took the DSS officials to court and also the federal government seeking for a compensation for this and filed a lawsuit of one billion naira in damages. And now the federal high court sitting in Abuja has ruled against Namdi Kano's case and also noted that he has no concrete evidence to back up his claims. Namdi Kano did not leave out the age of the Federation. He also sued him alongside the DSS. So my country people, this is quite, you know, interesting. Now, Namdi Kano recently spoke of uh, an out-of-court negotiation. Yes, an out-of-court negotiation. The federal government, you know, is yet to react to this statement made by Mazen Namdi Kano. Meanwhile, this hasn't stopped the pleas for many Nigerians for the release of Namdi Kano. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you.